Are you feeling alone? Are you wondering if there are other ballet pianists like you out there? Don't you know where to find ballet companies that can help you? No worries. I'm going to help you. My name is Mariana Palacios, I'm a ballet accompanist and today I'm going to share with you all the resources that as far as I know exist out there. First of all, Instagram. Instagram is such a good tool to get in contact with other ballet pianists to see what they do. There are many pianists uh, sharing what they play. So you can follow hashtags like for example, ballet pianist, ballet piano, ballet music, accompanying ballet ballet accompanist and then get lost i mean start to to follow people give likes give comments and then you will get in contact with a lot of pianists okay instagram helped me a lot to discover pianists from korea from mexico so it's i'm very happy with instagram i'm very addicted what about podcast as far as i know there is only one maybe you can leave on the comments if there are more it's called ballet piano podcast it's from London, from UK, and it's run with three ballet pianists based in London, Chris Hobson, Matthew G. Gregory, Akiko Hobson, and with the ballet teacher, David Yo. They are great. It's such a nice podcast. They are so clever, so charming. It's, it's super fun. It's very interesting. They have a large experience playing for ballet classes. They have been working with so many ballet teachers, so it's, it's, it's a great podcast. Have you had this like experience that you start playing the introduction and you just only played about two counts and then the teacher said, oh, no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the wrong, wrong kind of music. And YouTube? What happened with YouTube? As I told you in my presentation video, there are not so many people creating content for YouTube, but there are few. First one is Karen McIver. I mentioned her in my video about courses, about education programs. She has eight, 10 videos speaking about how to play for ballet classes. The content is very interesting, so take a look. Another YouTube channel that is very interesting is the one from Heavy Piano. He's a pianist from USA. His name is Joshua Piper. Piper, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry Joshua. He has a lot of videos making versions of Radiohead. So for those who love Radiohead, go and check it, super cool. He has video behind the scenes and what he's thinking about when he plays for ballet classes, how he looks for tempos, what to play, how long to play, pieces, harmonies, is very interesting and useful stuff. He has also another channel called Ballet Piano. There are a lot of videos of different pianists playing there. There are three videos explaining some of his approaches playing some exercise. Okay, so check these two YouTube channels. There is one very interesting video that I would like to mention that I found like one year ago and I really like it. It's about a pianist called Pat Richer. So it's an interview that they did to her. It's super interesting and you will see how an accompanist pianist approach this job. Do I love my work? Yes, I love my work. I am the happiest person to come to work every day to sit at the piano and let happen what happens. Another interesting YouTube channel is from the Korean called wet music. I found her on Instagram. Her name is Ur Piano. I will leave all the names down below. She has a list of videos called 2017th Masterclass for Ballet Pianists. And Vimeo. Yeah, there are a few videos in Vimeo that I would like to recommend you. They are from Royal Academy of Dance. Some years ago, they did three very interesting videos. The videos were done by Jonathan Steele and he was interviewing a pianist and you can see like how this pianist approach like the understanding of playing challenges and, and it's, it's very cool. Take a look. Facebook. In Facebook, I follow two groups that are very helpful. One is called Dance Accompanist and the other one is called Pianists for Ballet class. Go there and join and you will see pianists asking for a song or pianists looking for advice or pianists offering jobs. So it's, it's very cool. Of course, you can follow all the platforms for music. So iTunes, Spotify, also on YouTube, there are some pianists that have their own, their own music there. I would like to recommend, for example, Josu Galastegui, Spanish one, uh, David Plumpton, 
Nate Fifield, Luis Carmona, Lisa Harris, Teresa Wolf, Massimiliano Greco, Soren Bebe. There are many, many amazing pianists, and you can see so many examples of music styles and different ways of playing for ballet classes. I would like to mention also an interview that I found a long time ago, and I really like it when I listen to it, is with Casper Kornis. He's uh, English. I will leave the, the link. It's super interesting interview. He's a very nice composer, so listen to it. Conferences. There is one in Italy, in Rome. It's called Il Corpo nel Suono, the body in the sound. It's always at the end of October, beginning of November. It's a great time to go to Rome. The conference is around four days. There are plenty of activities, lectures, classes, ballet classes, contemporary classes with pianists playing. They have also music and dance in an experimental context. So it's very wide, it's very rich. It's, it's a very nice conference to go. One other thing that I want to mention, the documental about Lawrence Reed Hansen. And I need to read now. The documental is a musical journey through Martha Graham's dance technique produced and directed by Therese Capuccilli. Unfortunately, Lawrence Reed Hansen passed away last year, but it's a, it's a great documentary about him. There is one platform in, in USA called International Guild of Musicians in Dance. It's a great platform that involves music from, from all over the world. Actually, nowadays they are featuring musicians that want to be members in the association and they get one year of membership for free. They have a forum, they have uh, resources in the website, and it's a great place to, to meet other musicians, to see different subjects about playing for ballet, playing for modern jobs, articles, books, scores. There is a very, very interesting blog with plenty of information by Jonathan Steele. He has been writing uh, like articles and researching about so many different topics regarding music and dance and a lot about ballet. You will find tons of information and he's super smart. There is another website, a kind of a blog, that was created by Catherine Tech. She's an amazing musician from USA. She has written many different books, like super interesting about music and dance history. And she has created this website where you can read about ballet music. Another interesting website is called Music Management for Dance. It has a very interesting blog with interviews and articles for musicians playing for dance and dancers also take a look. Another blog that I would like to share here is the blog from Laurel Leal. She's a friend of mine. I, I, I met her through Instagram also and we had different chats. We, we even had a, a live video on Instagram that is on my Instagram account speaking about the psychology of the ballet pianist. She's super clever and super fun. In her blog, she has different posts speaking about what to play for ballet classes, different tempos, different pieces of music, different styles. Super interesting. Laurel has a course for ballet teachers who want to learn how to understand the count and use of 20 kinds of music for ballet class, as well as working with a pianist. Okay, that's all. I hope you, you find some inspiration there and some help and some resources that you that you didn't know. Of course, leave in the comments if you know about other resources. This is what I've been uh, finding through the last years, but maybe there are resources that I, I, that I don't know, blogs or podcasts or another YouTube channels. Remember that I'm creating an online course. It's not ready yet, but it will be ready soon. So if you want to receive the information when it's done, please sign up in the link that I will leave down below. And please, I need subscribers, I need likes, I need comments because a YouTube channel doesn't grow if you don't have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of visualization. So it's very hard. So please subscribe. Okay. And of course, share it with everyone that could be interesting. And this will help me a lot to continue creating this content. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.